All right, so we got Matt's F-150 in here today, and we are gonna put a two inch lowering kit on this truck. He bought some front lowering springs, and then we've got some shackles to put on the rear. So these are the shackles we're gonna put on here. Matt bought these a while ago. He doesn't even remember what brand they are, which is fine. And then he's got some bolts that he found just in case we need bolts for them. So we're going to get started on the shackles first because the springs aren't actually here yet. How's it looking under there? Let's see how rusty these uh, shackles are. I have seen worse. Someone actually cared for this for maybe a quarter of its life. No, that's good. Not the full thing, but I used to fail these trucks for inspection because the shackle hanger here would rust out. Matt forgot his safety glasses inside the truck, which are important because we're both going to be getting a lot of rust in our eyes today. Well, the hard part on this, these shackles, is typically not getting the bolts, like getting the nuts off. Usually the problem is that the bolts rust fast to the inside sleeve of the bushing. Matt got this one to break right loose. So, so far so good. This is the pile of rust on the floor. Easy! From, from using the impact gun. <laughs> so this is the problem, as the nut comes off relatively easily, but now the, the bolt won't even turn or move inside there because it's frozen to the bushing. So Matt's going to drop this hitch down to give us better access to deal with this. And then he's going to cut this side of the bolt flush. And then I think I'm going to just torch the head off the bolt here and try to get in a little bit so that we can pop that out of there. Cross threads and no threads. Is that it? Yep, your second bell. My side feels like it's kind of jammed in there a little bit. I might need a pry bar on this side. Okay, well, I got All right, there. why don't I hold this side? I'll junk on this one. And then you, uh, oh, yep, there it is. Yep, how about that? Cool. All right, so this side's cut off flush, and then we're gonna torch the other side. All right, so we got it. Got it up out of there, and luckily, this top bolt is not seized or anything so we just have to drop this spring down far enough to get the bolt out i did uh i did nick this a little bit with the torch not my finest work but that's fine so we've got the shackle sitting in there now and uh we just can't get this bolt all the way through until we push up on the other side uh, because it's just kind of tilted in there because the spring is higher than the other one right now. But that's how it'll look. All right, so on this one, we managed to get the cut on the inside, which is ideally where you want it, and then break the head off. So we got it broken off inside there. And then on this side, we can't get in there, so we just were able to fluff cut it flush. So now we're going to pry, we'll just pry it out of there. Bigger hammer. All right, so it took a bigger hammer and two nice sized pry bars, but we got it up out of there. Right. So that's what the shackle looks like all bolted in there. 
Matt tells me these bolts that he brought over are actually bell housing bolts from a Honda. So that's that's fun and very typical of Matt. The fancy chips. And uh, Matt and Trav are just throwing the hitch back up here. And then we'll put this thing on the ground and see what it looks like. All right. Oh yeah. It's pretty level. It's level. It's a lot lower. It's just level there. Yeah. That's cool. And then hopefully the front springs will uh, give it the rake back, but it looks fine. I think it looks great. Looks fine right now. Awesome. Home run. So Matt just unboxed the front coil springs. They're from King Suspension. And we didn't measure the back before we started, but figured we'd measure the front. So what'd you say, Matt? 34? 34 and an eighth, I called it. From here, it looks like 34 dead. You know what? Oh, dead there on. It is. There's your eighth. If from, from my short point of view. You know what? You are correct. Now that um, I get to Sean's level, 34. So 34 starting out, we'll see what these do. Cause what, what Matt found is that this is a six cylinder truck and they don't really sell springs specific to the six cylinders. So we're wondering since it's kind of a little bit of a lighter powertrain, if it is not gonna lower the truck as much, uh, but we'll find out. There's the brake too. Oh, there's the split in the spring. Yeah, you can see the spring is cracked right there. So what we've got is got the upper ball joint separated. Got the tie rod or the sway bar end link nice and broken when we went to loosen it. Got the caliper tied off. So we're just going to lower the lower control arm with the knuckle still attached to it and uh, slowly lower it to take the load off the spring. We took the shock out from the center and the spring should hopefully unload without loosening the control arm bolts. We'll see how far we can get it to unload. So here's the comparison on height and then that's where the old spring was broke so you might not get might not get that <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, well it needed springs so yeah it needed springs for sure it's definitely broken and how many twists per inch are we looking at definitely yeah it's a little a little more aggressive it's yeah. gonna be stiffer cool yep so it came right out of there just lowering down this lower control arm. No need for J hooks or anything like that. So this side is all back together and Matt picked up a new Slave bar end link this morning, pop that on there, and then he's working, working on this side now. Shelby, are you excited for Matt's truck to be low. Yeah, she can't wait. All right, so Matt's just putting the caliper and brake hose back on. We've got spring in there, shock back in there. We've got our wheel speed sensor hooked back up. We've got fresh cotter pin in the ball joint and tie rod. So we're gonna throw the tires back on and see how this thing looks.
Wow, this thing is low. We were concerned about the springs and the weight of the 4.2 to the 5.4 and 4.6, but. Yeah, I think it worked out. Camber's not even that bad. That's really cool. Kind of has that uh, lightning stance to it now. I bet the lightning's came a little higher than this, but. Yeah. I think it's. Well, let's uh, let's get the wheels torqued. We're gonna change the oil real quick, and then we'll get this thing out on the road. All right, so we had 34 when we measured before, and now what are we at here? We're like just above 32, maybe 32 and a quarter, and these springs are still gonna settle out a little bit, so. Yeah, we'll see where they settle over time, but got an inch and three quarters so far, and this truck is looking looking really good right now. It That's, should, should have been the first thing I did. Yeah. When I got it a year ago. Yeah, that looks awesome. What year is this truck, Matt? This is a 2000. So it's a 2000. F 2000 F-150, two-wheel drive. Good times. Always. Thank you for the lift. A little fist bump. And the help. Fist pump. Shelby's super pumped too. Good girl. See you guys next time.